The 2023 Range Rover Velar may be the middle child of the Range Rover SUV lineup, but it's not to be overlooked. It's a well-behaved crossover with enough style for premieres and enough utility for ski weekends. This year, the sporty HST trim joins the fray. News. Standard Adaptive Cruise Control. Extendable HST trim. About. The Velar refuses to fit neatly into any of the usual SUV boxes, and that's part of what makes it so appealing. It's bigger than most compact crossovers, smaller than a midsize, and somewhere between a traditional box shape and a stylish fastback. Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. We love the Velar's interior and exterior design. The cabin meets the usual Range Rover standards of fit and finish, and the ride is agile but never uncomfortable. Like most Range Rovers, the Velar has more clearance than most drivers need. Those virtues were enough to make the Velar a finalist in our 2019 SUV of the Year contest, but an interesting infotainment system and hefty price tag kept it from winning. Land Rover's latest program has cleared up that initial concern, but the Velar remains questionable value, especially with its relatively slow and lackluster base engine. Many buyers won't be interested, and we don't blame them. In a sea of increasingly common luxury crossovers, the Velar manages to stand out. Performance and Fuel Economy the 2023 Velar comes with two engine options. Both send power to all four wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. The base Velar S comes with a 2.0-liter turbo 4 that produces 247 horsepower and 269 pounds to foot of torque. When we tested the powertrain in 2018, we enjoyed the smooth 8-speed transmission, but not the sluggish 7.7-second 0-60 to time. Fuel economy starts at 20 26 of a mile per gallon city-slash-highway. Upgrading to the Velar our Dynamic S opens up the option of a 3.0-liter six-cylinder engine that uses a turbocharger and mild hybrid supercharger to increase output to 335 horsepower and 354 pounds to foot Land Rover claims a 0-60 to 60 time of 6.0 seconds. The mild hybrid system means fuel economy is almost as good as the base powertrain. The new HST trim takes the 3.0-liter engine and tunes it to 395 horsepower and 405 pounds foot last year's HSE managed 19 25 of a mile per gallon with the same power plant, and we expect the same for this year's model. 0 to 60 time is listed at 5.2 seconds. Velar or F-Pace? The Range Rover Velar and Jaguar F-Pace share a mechanical platform and have similar powertrain lineups. So what is the difference? The F-Pace is slightly smaller but surprisingly practical. It matches the Jaguar Velar's Legroom and has more total cargo capacity at 69.1 cubic feet. True to its brand identity, the F-Pace leans towards sporty handling, while the Velar is better off-road. The F-Pace is significantly cheaper, although its standard features don't quite match the Velar's. The final difference may be one that divides the generations, where the Velar opts for a futuristic double-screen setup for vehicle functions. The F-Pace sticks to a traditional single-screen setup with knobs and buttons for climate control. Safety Ratings and Features With the addition of standard adaptive cruise control this year, the Velar's suite of safety technology is impressive. Also included are automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, parking sensors and driver attention monitoring. Technology Jaguar's PIVI Pro infotainment system has improved dramatically since the Velar's debut. The latest system includes navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility and a premium Meridian sound system. All Velars get the same 10-inch infotainment touchscreen and a second touchscreen in the center console to control vehicle functions. Surround sound and head-up display are optional. Recommended trim. The base powertrain could be emitted, but you'd have to spend at least $70,000 to get the 3.0-liter engine. From there, the transition to a Porsche Cayenne or Range Rover Sport is small enough to be tempting. While not as fast as the Macan, the base trim retains the Velars' best attributes, great design, luxurious interior and a comfortable ride. Most buyers won't want more.